Door to needle is essentially the time that the patient arrives at the hospital door until they receive the clot busting medication. Every second of an acute ischemic stroke, you lose 32,000 neurons. And so the faster that we can give that medication, but still safely, the better the patient is going to be at the outcome. It was a Tuesday. Uh, it was my 77th birthday. I was having trouble coordinating my movements, but I didn't really realize that anything seriously was wrong until after I got out in the car and my husband looked at me and I could not talk at that point when he asked me to speak. We often have um, a half a dozen or more stroke codes a day. What made Jane's case special is that we had excellent pre-notification in part because of the, the great training of our EMS peers with ASLS. They were well prepared to give us the information, to give us pre-notification, so the whole team was ready. ASLS offers a standardized approach, um, and it touches every single person that could potentially touch a stroke patient in that acute phase. And so it sets it up very nicely for clinicians, um, pre-hospital and in the hospital, to know what the expectations are um, to take care of stroke patients. And so it just helps to help meet those standards and provide the best care. Secondly, uh, one can't discount Jane's husband's role in this. He was beginning to see some differences in my face, in my eyes. The side of my uh, mouth was beginning to droop a little bit. He called 911 and s described my symptoms and said, I think my wife's having a stroke. So because Jane's husband called 911, we were able to start her treatment way before she ever arrived to the hospital. That treatment started once the medics responded on scene. When we first got the alert that there was a patient coming in, um, it was about 20 minutes before she was set to roll through the door. And so then it was just preparation. So we were downstairs in the ER planning, setting up the CT scanner to be cleared, uh, having pharmacy on board. So everything was essentially set up before she came. The minute I crossed the threshold, they were, all hands were on me. They took a CT scan, determined where that I had a clot, not a bleed, but a clot. And the next thing I know, they put me back on my gurney and they were giving me a sedative to go to the operating room. That day, they broke a record for this hospital. I was the beneficiary of that. They saved my life. Having a two-minute door-to-needle time means that our processes work. It means that our training works. When we rely on our protocols and we do things as we're taught, as ASLS teaches us, we can have really, really good outcomes. I'd say that more stroke education is always a good thing. And the integrative approach that, that you can get with ASLS is what's going to get you the best results with improving door to needle times and preserving more brain tissue and making sure everybody's on the same page. The success of ASLS is due to the partnership between the American Heart Association and the University of Miami's Gordon Center. Getting to experience and be a part of Jane's story is why we come to work every day. Stroke, right, it's the leading cause of disability. Um, and so every patient doesn't have Jane's outcome. Knowing that my team has had the ASLS training is a comfort. And I know it will be a comfort to other people in the community as well and will mean a difference in their outcome.